Good morning and welcome to Hashtag Rise in Bond. I am your host, Glenn Lundy. I am a husband to one, a father to six, and the general manager of Dan Cummins, the Chevrolet Buick in Paris, Kentucky, the second largest used car franchise dealer in the United States of America. It is 5.30 a.m. and I hope that you are ready to rise and grind. Good morning, a good morning, a good uh, morning. What's up? I just saw that my man Prince Sinsuit, Sinsuit, I think I say that right. I just saw that my man Prince is in here this morning. And that always excites me. I always get excited when I see my man Prince. He doesn't make it every day, and I love it when he's in here. He's just one of them dudes. I follow him on Facebook, and he just he just cracks me up sometimes. He's awesome. Good morning, everybody. I hope everybody is doing all right. It is Thursday, August 16th, 2018, the first and last time it will ever be August 16th. 2018 and i've got a special treat for you guys this morning it is going to be really neat it's gonna be really cool um i want to talk a little bit about the past we're going to go back in time just a little bit because that's kind of what was on my uh heart a little bit this morning is going back a little bit in time so in at the dealership that i work at at a dan cummins a chevrolet and buick in paris kentucky at the dealership that I work at, we've had a lot of growth over the last few years. We've had a lot of team members that have been with our team for a while, and we've kind of reached a plateau point where it's been tough to kind of break through to that next level. We're still having some growth. We're still experiencing, you know, small amounts of growth, and we're still winning, but we like to win on a bigger level. And so lately, it's been a little bit you know, tough, and I've been kind of trying to work on getting back to our roots, simplifying our processes, remembering who we are and where we come from back at the dealership. And so this morning, the thought process of going back in time a little bit reminded me of a show called In the Beginning, a show called In the Beginning that I used to do with Darian Sanders, and we used to do it every uh, Sunday. We did it every Sunday for a while, and it was a project that him and I just kind of worked on. It was one of those things where I had an idea. I called Darian. I'm like, hey, Darian, I got an idea. What do I do? Darian's like, you need to do it, right? It was just kind of one of those things because that's what Darian does. He simplifies my life, and we put it together, and we used to run it every Sunday, and it was really neat. Well, there was one episode on there that really applied, and I want to kind of share a little bit of that with you guys today. But before we do, this is, for some of y'all, this is your favorite part. For some of y'all, y'all are like, hey, man, come on, let's go. But before we do, you know what we got to do. You know we got to get the music going. You know we got to get the energy going. You know we got to get everybody bibbity, bibbity, bobbity, bibbity, bobbity. Hey, did y'all see that video yesterday? We posted a video yesterday of Sean Hayes. And Sean Hayes and I playing with the new 2019 Silverado. We posted that sucker. And in that video, Sean's like dancing in the background of the truck, man. I'm dancing in the front of the truck. And I'm just saying, bro, my boy, I don't know how often we should have my boy Sean Hayes dancing. So I'm just kidding, Sean. I know you're in here, so I'm just messing with you. You guys got to check that video out, though. It was a lot of fun. This is the part of the show where you go ahead and hit that share button because we truly believe here in Hashtag Rise and Grind that if we can change the way people start their day, we can change their lives, man. We can change their lives. So hit that share button. You just might be the person that puts a video in front of somebody and changes the way they start their day. Say good morning to me. I'll say good morning to you, say good morning to each other, and we'll get this thing rocking and rolling. What's up, Eddie Gilbert? How are you this morning? Vicki Everett, good morning, and I hope you had a fabulous birthday yesterday. Melvin Rodriguez, what's up, my man? Jay Heiderman, Ben St. Hours, good morning, sir. Rick Berman, good morning. AJ Anderson, what up? What up? AJ came in a long way to visit us this weekend, and I'm so glad he did. Good morning, Rick Berman. Good morning, uh, Gail Beatrack. How are you? Good morning, Amanda Woolham and Don Sankey. Jamie Huddle. What's up, Jamie Huddle? Good morning, girl. I'm happy to see you in here. That's awesome. Good morning, Dave Clayton. Aaron Jones. What up, Jeremy Dolan and Charlie McHale. Teresa Brickner. Josh. Oh. 
What up, Elizabeth? The ranking tension. Everybody's up in here this morning. My man, Bright Rockway. Do you love it? Dancing, the dancing man, Sean Hayes, right? <laughs> All right, cool. So check it out. Here's what we're going to do. We're going to go back in time just a little bit because I had a request. I haven't had a request before. It's first time. So pretty cool. But I had a request from someone here in the hashtag Rise and Grind. They wanted me to bring back an old episode that was their favorite that impacted them the most from the old show that we used to do called In the Beginning. So don't laugh at me when you watch this video because it maybe isn't the highest quality. We've upgraded our cameras since then, and maybe it's not as polished as maybe I am today. I hope that I'm a little bit more polished today since I've been practicing in front of the camera for two years since this video, but I hope you love and enjoy it. Heather Wells Tillery, good morning. It's I'm really Really happy to see you in here today. All right, check this out, and here you go. There is a power that exists only once and never again, the power of now. In my days growing up, I always thought tomorrow was better than today. I figured there would always be enough time. I would leave everything to the last minute. Homework assignments, studying for tests, showing up for practice. I would always push it to the limit. I did okay those days. I was a decent track star. I got above average grades. I was able to be above average in many ways but never once did I excel at anything. I couldn't understand it at the time, but as I fast forward to the world I live in now, running one of the largest car dealerships in the United States of America, I can look back and I can see the exact moment my life changed and I helped lead our dealership from above average to a complete powerhouse. That change happened when I began to understand the power of now. It sounds so simple, if you have something to do, do it now. If it has your attention, then complete the task to the very end. Don't let the thought linger, don't dawdle, get it done and get it done now. Your mind will be blown with the results, I assure you. You see, sometimes just thinking about the power of now is strong enough to change your life. When you begin to realize how many things you put off for later. Daddy, will you pick me up? Later. Honey, will you join me in bed? Later. Son, will you come to visit? Later. Mr. Lundy, can I see you for a second? Later. How is your retirement looking? Later. How much do you have invested? Later. The list goes on and on. We DVR shows for later and never watch them. We make plans to go places and never go there. We talk about writing books, promotions, making a difference, big dreams. We talk about it all and we talk about it all happening later. My father died at 52 years old. He laid down to take a nap on a Sunday afternoon and never woke up. He was incredibly healthy. He played basketball his whole life and refereed high school games on the weekends. As far as I was concerned, him and I still had 40 years to spend together. So all of the hopes and dreams he had for me, I could fill later. When he died, I was alone. I was a criminal, a loser a man who had made many bad choices. My father died disappointed in me. I thought we had so many more days ahead. My oldest daughter will be 18 in May. When she was six, I decided that doing things with her later was the best idea. Instead of making her a priority, I chose to do many other things with my life. Girlfriends and parties, promises of a brighter tomorrow. Ultimately, I ended up missing out on eight years of her life. Thank God she's back now. But at one time, I thought she would be gone forever. My youngest is now one. It's like she was born yesterday. 
The days fly by in such a hurried whirlwind, it blows the mind. Days pass in minutes, months, and hours, and what I've discovered is there's only one way to slow things down. The power of now. If it needs to be done, you have to do it now. If you want to chase a dream, start now. Tell your kids you're proud of them now. Don't wait. You can't afford to wait. At work, do it now. With your wife, do it now. Call your mom right now. Tell her I said hello. Answer the client now. Get results now. Write your book now. Read that book now. Shake a hand. Call a friend. Take a note. Answer a question. Respond to that email. Answer that text. Invest in that property. Start saving money. Buy that house. Change your life. Write down your goals. Take time to thank God. Do it all and do it all now. When you start to live your life with the power of now, the things that keep you awake at night will go away. They're done. You've completed the task. You called that one guy back. You took care of that squeaky wheel. Whatever it is, you took care of it and it's gone and you're free from it forevermore, all because you simply did it now. You see, my life began to change the moment I decided that if it had my attention, then I had to complete it. What ends up happening when you live that way is you start to be careful at what you allow to have your attention. Not only are you getting all the things done that need done now, but you're also keeping yourself from being distracted, which increases even more productivity. You'll find that you can get so much more out of your day if you just start doing things now. The best part about it, when you begin to use the power of now, people around you will notice. You become that guy or girl that gets it done. That guy or girl that is just so lucky all the time. You become this almost superhuman person who can complete more tasks in a day than most do in a week. You unlock a part of your mind that has been dormant and stagnant since you were a child and instead you feel alive and connected to a world that is so much bigger than you or me or any of us. You see, the power of now will help you get more in tune with the you that God made you to be. Energy in its purest form waits for no man. Its current exists now and it always will. So do me a favor, take your finger and share this video. Go ahead, do it now. Share it with your friends and family members and then commit to being the type of person that lives by the power of now. You will never look back. Take my word for it. I'm just saying that word is powerful. Uh, take what Glenn told you and run with it. Fully run with it. Take action now. Be present now. Grab today and this week by the horns and run with it. Run now. So I leave you with the words spoken by John to the church in 1 John 3, 18 and 19. Dear children, let's not merely say we love each other. Let us show the truth by our actions. Our actions will show that we belong to the truth. So with that power, go now. You know, that I, now that I actually watched that again, like, that was actually a lot better than I had it remembered in my head. <laughs> we were, we we actually were pretty darn good already, Darian. I think Darian's in here right now, man. That was, that was good. Darian and I, we put that show together uh, in the beginning is what it's called. And there's a bunch of episodes of it. You can find it on uh, my YouTube page, which you can get there by going to glennlundy.com. But there's a bunch of episodes. And we just kind of got together and made, I think there's a total of like 35 or 40 of those, something like that. But we would just get together once a week and we would do it, man. We would just absolutely uh, do it. And that one right there, that episode was one of the, the powerful episodes as far as just doing it now, man. So I guess the question, the question that I have for you this morning and what I want you to focus on is what is it that you're putting off? What is that thing that you need to be doing and like do it right now? What, what is that? What is that one thing and how are we going to attack it? Because there is no promise of tomorrow. I'm not going to go back into the message. You just heard the message. You just heard the message, but I need you to apply it to your life. We got to apply it to our lives right now right now now i know some of you were probably wondering what that tie jacket combo is all about and i just want you to know that that tie jacket combo right there is straight fire 
It is straight fire. And now that I saw it again, I'm going to go ahead and bring that sucker back out as soon as the weather starts to get a little cooler because it's too hot to be wearing that stuff. But as soon as it gets a little cooler, I'm breaking back out the hex ties. That's called style, my friends. It's called flavor. It's called being unique. <laughs> I know you guys, you know, some of you guys don't like that hex tie. But I'm just saying, I'm just playing with you guys. Hey, check it out. I wanted to share that with you guys. Because sometimes we kind of got to go back to our roots. We got to think about the things that were working for us when we get a little off kilter. And that's where I'm at right now in my brain. And that's what I end up sharing with you guys. I end up sharing whatever my thoughts process is, whatever I got going on that morning. I kind of share that with you guys so that you can grow and learn with me. Because I'm constantly just trying to grow and learn. So I hope you enjoyed that episode of In the Beginning. I hope you enjoyed it. It's one of my favorites. Uh, It's one of our more popular episodes of In the Beginning. It doesn't have enough dairy in it. Because Darian, if we, you know, I don't know why we didn't get more Darian in that episode, but he's in a lot of the other ones, and he's one of those dudes you want to watch and follow anyway. So I'm just going to leave you guys on that note. The power of now. It's important. If you need more videos, go to glennlundy.com. All right, check it out. There's all kinds of videos on there. You can check all those out. If you need any Rise and Grind gear like this shirt I got on right here, you can get that at glennlundy.com. All of that's up there. And before I let you go, I need you to know one really important thing. And that's the fact that you, my friend, you, yes, you, Vicky, Christopher, Mike Brockway, Bob Rich, uh, Christopher Campbell, Rick Berman, all of you guys, dude, you guys are these, you're a child of God, like the God of the universe, you know, the guy that made like everything. He made you. He made you. And he made you uniquely, he, uniquely in his image, to be the absolute best version of you that you can possibly be. And so you have chosen, he's given you this power of choice, and you have chosen to be a part of this elite group of people that chooses every day to hashtag rise and grind. And that's a powerful decision that you've made because all of your posts, your comments, all of that positivity, everything that you're putting in the group, everything you're putting out there, it's truly making a difference on this planet. It's making a difference to your friends, to your family members, to your coworkers, to everyone around you. And it's making a difference to me. And I, for one, absolutely love you for it. I do. I absolutely love you. So have a phenomenal day today. Have an incredible day today, and come back and see us again tomorrow morning at 5.30 a.m. as we hashtag Rise 